Normally I would welcome you to the channel at this point, but if you're watching this video, I'm sorry because we all know what has happened. That said, today we are going to go over how to remove skunk smell, so let's get into it. Alright, the second that you notice, the first thing that you should try to do is isolate the source of the smell. So in my case, my dog tried to befriend a new friendly critter, so I quickly scanned my backyard, made sure the skunk was no longer still there, and then let the dog out back and kept her there. But because she was scared, the second she got sprayed, she first hid in her crate, then she ran through every single room in my house on her way to try to hide in my bed, which means she stunk up every square foot of my residence. So because the two highest contact points were her crate and the sheets on my bed, I immediately stripped all those out and tried to get those outside as well. You're trying to remove all those smell sources as fast as you can so they don't continually stink up the house. Next thing I would do is put on clothes that you do not care about because there's a very real chance they're going to reek of skunk and you're going to throw them out at the end of the day. Start by trying to air out the house to the best of your ability. Get all the windows open. If you can leave the doors open, I would do that as well. And in the meantime, you're going to need to get some supplies. So I recommend getting them delivered because if you hop in your car while reeking of skunk, now your car is going to smell like that. But either way, here's the materials that you're gonna need. Baking soda, lots of it. Whole coffee beans, I just bought the cheapest store brand that they had nearby. And also a coffee grinder if you don't have one, these are like $20. And most likely you're doing this because your dog got sprayed, in which case you're gonna need something to bribe them. A good sized bottle of hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, and I also tried out Nature's Miracle Skunk Odor Remover, and I'll touch on how that worked in a minute. With the source of the smell controlled, grind up fresh coffee beans. You cannot use pre-ground to do this. It has to be freshly ground, and you're going to put these fresh grounds in like a shallow bowl or something with a lot of surface area and literally just place these bowls all over your house. I put them on every shelf, on my coffee table, on the counter in a few locations, in both of the bedrooms. I use the entire first canister and most of the second canister, but you know what? You better keep grinding and just use up the rest of it to make yourself a fresh coffee because you're about to need it. Next is moving into damage control where we're addressing the sources of the smell. For me, my bed sheets were one of the biggest sources of the skunk smell, so I immediately threw those into the wash. I put in a healthy amount of laundry detergent as well as a ton of baking soda. That is going to be your best bet at neutralizing the smell. With the laundry running, I immediately tried that skunk odor remover. All things considered, it worked pretty well, but not perfect, and I did not want to deal with this smell, so perfection is what I was striving for here. So here's the cleaning mixture that my vet told me to use. Now mix this in a metal bowl if possible, but you're going to use a full bottle of hydrogen peroxide, at least a quarter cup of baking soda, and a very healthy squirt of Dawn dish soap, and then vigorously mix all three of these until all of the baking soda is dissolved. You can see here I've got no clumps or anything left. That's the consistency you're going for. Use this to thoroughly wash your dog's coat and then obviously be sure to fully rinse it all out too so that your dog's skin doesn't dry out. But if you notice that your dog was sprayed in the face or especially near the eyes, you should probably seek veterinary attention at that point so they can properly flush the dog's eyes out for you. Or if the dog got scratched by the skunk, there's a chance of rabies. I would also contact a vet for that. Keep in mind that your dog is probably going to be absolutely terrified about this whole endeavor, especially with how over overwhelming this scent is. So remind them that they're a good boy or girl, give them ample treats, and do your best to calm them down. The last thing you want is a high-strung dog smelling like a skunk running around in an absolute panic. With that said, my dog is obviously a husky. She's got a very thick double coat. That smell got really, really in there. This mix did a very good job of taking most of that smell out. Even so, I was not afraid to get my nose really up and into her fur to try to check for any remaining smell. It's extremely difficult to get all of it on the first wash. I'm going to tell you that now. It might take you a few washes on separate days to get it all, but this mixture for my vet worked way better than the over-the-counter stuff. Depending on how much time you've taken at this point, what you want to do is go and stir up all those bowls of coffee grounds just to expose new, fresh grounds again, and if possible, We'll spread them out in a way that you maximize the surface area that way you neutralize more of the air at once pretty much every 30 minutes to an hour you should go back and stir these things up and do that for every room but with all the primary sources of smell under control let's go on to the secondary sources of smell which is everything my dog touched when she was scared and trying to hide so if you have carpets in your house you're going to use this baking soda liberally and apply it basically everywhere that you possibly can but because my dog jumped on my mattress I'm going to be doing the same thing here and not only are you going to be spreading it over the top you also want to physically work it in to break up the clumps and push it into the fabric that way it'll just do a better job neutralizing the scent now how long you have to leave it in there depends on how bad the smell
smell is, obviously. I ended up leaving mine in for at least two hours, and I also left the door closed so the dog couldn't get to it again, prior to going back with a vacuum and cleaning it all up. At this point, the load of laundry was finished as well, so I didn't want to immediately put it in the dryer because if there's any remaining smell, Putting it through a hot dryer is going to lock that in and potentially stink up your dryer. Anything affected by the smell should be hung outside to dry at least for this wash cycle. I had a spare piece of rope lying around for one of my other projects. I tied that up real quick and made myself a rudimentary clothesline. Then after I hung everything up, it was time to stir the coffee grounds again. Next is washing all of the hard surfaces. So I have hardwood floors, but it also works on tile if you need to potentially do this on walls. That mix I made earlier with hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and soap is also also great for cleaning off all of those surfaces. Now a quick caveat I'm going to add is that hydrogen peroxide can corrode things if you leave it on a surface for too long. So if you don't dilute it and you don't wash off the floors afterwards or rinse them at the very least, there is a chance it could discolor or eat away at the finish on your floors. If you put this too concentrated directly onto a painted surface like a wall, there's a chance you could discolor a portion of the wall. I would start an area that you can't normally see to test this out to make sure it's not going to have any weird reactions especially on a painted surface. But the bigger thing is make sure you go back and wipe it up with water afterwards to dilute it and clean up any of the residue. So for example, I wiped down all my floors by hand with that mix, and then I immediately followed it up by using water with pine sol to just clean them normally and to take out any of those excess chemicals. Now if you're thinking, why don't you just use the pine sol to begin with? Well, the pine sol doesn't do as good of a job of chemically neutralizing the skunk smell because it's sulfur-based. You're reliant on the hydrogen peroxide baking soda and soap mixture to really do the neutralizing. Then you're just using the mopping and the pine salt to clean up that solution afterwards. But with that said, all the labor portion of this is done. Remember to continually stir up those coffee grounds. And then I would also open the doors to any cabinets, any closets, any other room to try to air out all of those as well. Opening it up to get that airflow is going to help neutralize all of the air in the entire house a lot faster. Now that said, depending on how bad the smell is, it could be anywhere from like two hours to two or three days to fully get all the smell out. I think for me it took about seven hours or so, but don't be surprised if the smell isn't 100% gone in like the first 30 minutes or something. Just be a little bit realistic with your expectations. But anyhow, that's going to do it for this time, guys. I am sorry if you needed to reference this video, but hopefully this helped you out. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.